to be irresistible welcome back to the series it's your girl Karina and I'm really excited to bring you this new video this is Venus and Cancer how to be irresistible and I'm coming to you today to share with you the beautiful powers of the moon and we all know that the moon is extremely powerful but how powerful is the moon when it comes to the manifestations of Venus well you're basically talking about two feminine deities, two feminine energies, pulling in the aura of emotions, intuition, but also fabulousness, charm, flashiness. So when these two come together, you get the natural colors of pastel, dusted off, silvery muted okay because we're talking about the moon here and the moon is like opposite of the sun so everything with the sun everything that reflects the sun in a venusian external way everything about the sun is bright okay but everything about the moon is reflective and so the colors come off in that very way they come off soft reflective silvery sheer, translucent, dusted. And so these people look the best when they wear silver colors, when they wear like the the glitter of silver. So it can be flashy, but when it's more on the realms of that spectrum of the color wheel. And so please remember that if you are a moon, rising, sun, and of course the Venus in Cancer that this applies to you. In fact, this is a part of what I call your physical power blueprint in which abiding by some of these rules and integrating them into your wardrobe and your beauty and your fashion helps to ignite the powerful attraction of Venus. Everything about Venus is about bringing it in. It's about luring someone in. And so that goes with anything that you want in life. Now, this works even more so when we're talking about the moon. Because these energy bodies, right, the moon and Venus, they are not go-getters. They're not like chasing after something. This energy is pure attraction. Pure attraction. So with that being said, uh, abiding by the rules, I would say, the physical power rules would allow for you to enhance your physical attraction, okay? And this happens through the process of just wearing the clothes, putting on makeup. Anyone who understands that the process of changing yourself and making yourself beautified creates an energy signal all on its own that makes you feel more confident makes you feel more alluring okay so then when you add specific things it will actually kind of just enhance the energy that you're born with so along with this we need to understand that the body the part of the body that cancer rules over is the breast area and so yes if you want to talk about being alluring for most women showing off the bosom is going to get you there <laughs> but for venus in cancer and for the placements in cancer prominent cancer energy having these um, necklines that are plunging all the way down, straight down, down to the, even like the belly button, those kind of, um, you know, cuts. They look amazing. A sweetheart necklines also work really well in other placements, but they work well in cancer for the sake of um, framing the bust area, okay? Um, having the opposite as well so having like shirts that come all the way up 
to the neck, turtlenecks. For some reason that works as well because it's like it still enhances it or it's covering it up so it brings more curiosity to it. Um, but if it's all covered and you just have like a really good shape, of course, um, then that is Venus and Cancer energy. And there are certain things you can add to it like frills around the bust area. Um, this energy I mean all again there's a lot of rules that apply to all women but making sure that you have really good bras you know like just really on the top high standard bras maybe I would say I don't know this for sure other placements they might be able to get away with it certain placements don't even wear bras let's be honest but if you have cancerian energy in your blueprint, in your physical power blueprint, I can't stress enough how important it is for you to wear bras because your your bosom area is one of your strongest physical powers, no matter the size, no matter whatever. And so making sure that you are tailored perfectly and feel comfortable, but also just feel and look the best, you want to enhance that part of your body. And the best way to do it is to make sure that you're following these rules okay so another thing with venus and cancer is that along with beautiful pastel silvery colors dusted off colors enhancing the bosom area the other thing that works really well for this placement is very soft cozy comfortable materials this placement is one of the epitomes for having knitted sweaters you know, long, um, comfortable, cozy uh, clothing. They can wear tight-fitted clothing, of course, but there's still, like, something, like, if it's, like, all tight, they might have, like, a cardigan or a sweater over it because um, tight clothes can be uncomfortable. Just, and certain placements can will handle that. Aries, Venus and Aries, Venus and Scorpio, they'll handle tight clothing and deal with the discomfort. But cancer is all about comfort. So the concept of it is that even if I'm going to be wearing these tight fitted clothing, that I'm going to throw on a little long sweater or a long cardigan or something like that, or even just a jacket to go along with it. And you could see like a difference, a difference in Venus and Aries, for instance, they would wear just you know, um, athletic clothing, leggings, uh, bright colors, or all black. But a Venus in Cancer, they're more likely to be wearing like a mauve, like a mauve dusty pink color, or like, you know, a fuzzy, warm, you know, creamy white color. And it might be all close fitting to their body, but you could already see the difference in the colors that are chosen and then they'll have something over it um, and um, Venus and Cancer they're the ultimate feminine so this placement works really well to have really long hair long flow we hear all the way down so that's a very big trend in today's society is to get like weaves that are like flowing all the way down um, and that is a Cancerian trait. That is a moon trait to have long flowing hair. Um, it's also a water sign trait. So um, the waves are um, also a water sign trait. So placements that have w water signs are going to look their best with waves. But also because Cancer rules roundness, it rules like the everything is about feminine is round where masculine is sharp and and straight right that's kind of where we get the rules for how the hair is to be um it looks its best so with cancer energy the hair looks the best when it is neat but it is also wavy or curly ringlets um, even if it's short, it looks really good instead of like a short straight bob. It looks really good when it's a wavy short bob that is um, really looks great on Cancerian energy. But like I said, um, they do 
look their best with long hair so i would definitely recommend to try it out try out some really long 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 locks and see how um that works for you and um if that doesn't then ever so often you might want to just use a curling iron and bump up some curls or if you have naturally curly hair then that works really well for you because curls um curl actually even if you have natural curly hair but it's like tiny ringlets actually you could um still try to manipulate it with like fluffy round curls that's cancer like really fluffy and round curls exquisite okay these women are the ultimate feminine so everything is like it doesn't look like they're trying hard even though they might be working really hard um this is a placement that spends that can spend a lot of time taking care of themselves self-care um getting ready dressing themselves if you don't if that's not quite your trait then incorporating more time into self-care and um you know just getting taking more time to get ready really important because um it's like you work really certain place in, placements they work really hard and they look different this is like the placement that they're working really hard to create the most enhanced natural versions of themselves and even if it ends up that some of them do plastic surgery which i don't you know condone but i you know i'm not I'm not here to decide whether that's right or wrong, but there are certain placements that do heavy plastic surgery. Um, this one might be one of the ones that are interested in that. Um, but their plastic surgery is trying to make the features feel more feminine and they're still trying to maintain like still like the natural look. So they might do subtle changes here and there over time, over years. Um, instead of like a major big drastic change and so um, you'll notice that they're different but it'll be over time they're like yo like this person's got a lot of plastic surgery because they usually do it like subtly over time okay so just remember that with Venus and Cancer it's about just embracing the ultimate feminine energy round curvy is big here um, making sure that everything looks like it is almost easy and natural but a little bit um unearth like okay so we're not dealing with like very rich tones we're dealing almost with like colors that are almost losing their color like there's a lot a little bit of a hint of color and then it's almost all pure white or silver that's going to be the pal of venus and cancer so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this little rundown of venus and cancer if you'd like to read my description in which i go a little bit more deep then you could check that out in the box below where i have it on the blog i also have a facebook group so check all of that stuff out if you'd like to learn more about venus and cancer and i'll see you guys in the venus and leo how to be irresistible video peace and love